Good night, good night, have one just tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Sermon J. Spirit of I'm here to get some news out tonight. Um, Developer Anthony AP uh, have two restaurants, you know, and I also want to talk about the forgotten property in New Orleans, Louisiana. You know, so first, um, Metairie Script Mall to become a lux luxury uh, steakhouse, you know, with Bourbon Club sushi uh, and tables so the commercial development at 3131 veterans you know real estate development acting ap you know has one ambition pro project you know underway transforming the farmer or drill in metairie into what will be his own italian restaurant you know so he got he have two restaurants you know on veterans you know and he's saying you, you know it's gonna be um, good. One of the restaurants gonna be a seafood restaurant, and the other restaurant gonna be a uh, steakhouse um, restaurant. Now, this his second project. You know, is uh, Maru Steakhouse, and is now taking shape at thirty one thirty one Veteran Boulevard, working towards an opening in June. You know, now his idea is to bring luxury. And throughout the uh, throughout the restaurant, it's creating a place for people to gather, you know, rather on the way home or their neighborhood, you know. So he have two places on veteran, you know, something uh, it does not have by combining the two. The first restaurant is a seafood dish cook. Now this one here good. Now you can sit down. The customer can sit down and watch them cook your food. And I think that's amazing, you know. And these rooms will be reserved for private booking, you know, up to 14 people, you know, so you will have to, you know, book to, um, to reserve a spot, you know, his, so his second restaurant is, uh, the steakhouse, you know, an open air, gonna have patio, you know, will be enclosed with glass, glass wall, which can be open in a nice weather, so even if the weather is, is, um, Rainy or whatever the weather is, you can you can close the glass window in and you can still you know enjoy your meal like you still outside, you know. So that's a de development. Um, that's Anthony. His development had got two restaurants, both of them on veterans, both of them different restaurants, seafood, and one is the steakhouse. You know, one of them you can sit down and watch them cook your food right there in front of you, you know, so I think that would be amazing. You know, so also, since we're talking about development, we can talk about on um, a forgotten property in New Orleans that we need development for these abandoned um, properties and a couple of properties are history, you know. So we're looking for development in New Orleans, Louisiana. Now, we have history properties that have been abandoned since um, after Katrina. You know, I have a list of four abandoned property and some are history property. You know, the first one is Charity Hospital. You know, Charity been there for a long time. Had hey, wonderful doctors there. You know, wherever you um you feel like you don't know a doctor don't know what's wrong when you used to go to Charity, they'll find out. You know, right or right off hand. You know, it's <clears throat> it's still standing up in good condition. They had um the the <clears throat> it didn't get too much um damage. It been sitting up because they started on it, but then um due to um the waiting on FEMA to help them with the uh, investment, you know. So uh, it pretty much is still standing in good condition, you know. We just need development um to come and take over these projects, you know. So uh the second one, Lindsay Blige, is a medical center. That's another good investment, you know. Um, and three, we have Six Flag, you know, um, out there in the east. You know, somebody needs to, uh, you need someone to pick the uh, development to pick down with that project up. You know, I think that would be a good investment for the neighborhood, the tourists that um, will, will visit New Orleans, you know. And um, so we have, and then we have four. We had an old... We had an old property that used to be the mall, you know, uh, used to be the mall out there in the east. So you have two places in the east, a Six Flags and what used to be the mall, 
you know so we can bring the mall back or uh, we either can turn into an outlet mall uh, you know like a strip mall you know and also that'll be a good investment too for the neighborhood uh when tourists visit when they um go to six six flag they might want to shop you know and um and be in in the mall you know so these are all four properties you you know would be good investment you know all it needs is the um developments to pick up these projects and um charity you know charity hospitals uh history um building you know so i think there'll be a good project to pick up on and six flag in the mall you know so i think they all would be good um uh, investment you know for uh for developers to uh to pick to pick it up pick this project up you know so we talk about the um mr anthony he had he a development he had just pick up two projects two um restaurant um on veteran um boulevard you, you know one gonna be a steakhouse and one gonna be a um and one one gonna be um uh, a steakhouse and one gonna be a uh, seafood house and a seafood house you can sit down and watch them you know cook your meal you know so that's two wonderful restaurants seafood you know everyone pretty much a lot of people love seafood i know i love seafood i love steak you, you know and you can sit there and watch your food and then i'll i also talk about four abandoned um um history property you know uh projects can be picked up you know and i think it will be good investment you know so that's all the show news i have for you today and i see y'all on the next video